Prepare for me to look gross this entire vlog. It's the weekend and I'm not doing jack shit. Uh, this is actually my last night at my apartment until I'm going over to my parents' house for the weekend where I'm dog sitting for them and taking the beans over. Twisted Lies reading vlog. Y'all wanted it. And so I did one for Twisted Hate and I was not sure if I was going to do one for Twisted Lies. And I had said that in one of my videos and I was like, if that's something you guys want to actually... What is in my hair? Is this a thread? What is this? And you guys had said that you wanted to see it. And then I was talking with Nikki over at Nikki and Bookland. And we were planning on Buddy reading this together. And we were like, why don't we both do vlogs together? So Nikki is also doing a vlog today. Both parts are going to go up at the same time and everything. So make sure once you're done watching this, you go and check hers out. I'll link her channel down below here. And we're both very excited. I have given every single book so far in the Twisted series five stars. I have very high expectations for this. Do I think it's going to surpass Twisted Hate? Twisted Hate so far is my favorite book in the series. And do I think Christian is going to surpass Alex. It's gonna be a tough, tough job that Christian and Stella have. I did get my paperbacks in the mail today. They are so beautiful. Obviously the pastel one, this is huge. This is such a thick book. And then the mail covers. I originally started out buying the guy covers and then my friend Sonia sent me two of the discreet versions. So I was like, well, now I gotta collect the discreet ones as well. So I got both of these because I wanted to get them while they still matched before they got sold to the publisher or whatever. I'm probably gonna be going to be reading it on my Kindle just so that way I don't have to take this one of these over to my parents' house this weekend. Um, it's just like easier to not have to pack them with. But yeah, I'm very excited to dive in. So I will update you when I've started reading. Okay, if I look like a hot sweaty mess, it's because I am. I just got back from walking my parents' dog. It is already so hot outside. And of course this dog does not care. She just wants to take the longest walk possible. So, so I got 15% in yesterday to Twisted Lies. I'm liking the slow burn. I'm liking the interest that we already have in Christian. I am so excited to see this man go absolutely feral when Stella's, when Stella's stalker shows up. Cause you know, that the, the stalker plot line has been going since like book one, right? That it was like kind of rumored that like she might have a stalker and even how she's like been getting this like uneasy feeling, her stalker is gonna show up at some point. And I just hope that Christian is there and that he just becomes an absolutely unhinged feral man and chops him into itty bitty pieces. So I'm excited for that. So far I'm really liking Christian. I got, I feel like I have a good sense of like his character. Some of the stuff with the painting, I like couldn't quite remember. I'm like, did I know this from Twisted Hate? Like some of the history about the painting? But then Christian was like that it's tied into his past. And I was like, okay, maybe I don't. Also Dante's interesting, which I'm pretty sure he's going to be in her new series, which obviously I will very much be looking forward to. Anna Huang has quickly turned into an auto by author for me. So I will for sure be picking up that series. As for Stella's character, I like her so far, but I would say I'm not like super, I'm not super connected to either of them yet. And granted, we're only 15% in, but I don't really have like a great understanding Understanding of like Stella's character like we're told that she has social anxiety but I don't necessarily like feel it yet told a lot about her parents and like how she's an Alonzo and like this is how like that this would not be a job that an Alonzo would have and that she'd be a disappointment but it's like we don't really know anything about her family so it's like that doesn't really mean anything to me right now so it feels like a lot of Stella so far has been like told to me but I don't like feel it yet if that makes sense obviously it's only 15 percent in so i'm not trying to be like judgy i'm just saying that like right now i don't really have like a read on her i guess also the rule setting felt very like josh and jules like didn't they have like pretty much some of the same exact rules like i feel like that last rule of being like no feelings that was like their exact last rule too so that kind of like felt a little repetitive when they were going over that but i'm not trying to be negative just saying so far, this is what I'm getting from it, but I am liking it and I'm excited to jump back in today. I don't know why I always decide to do these check-ins after I just get back from a walk, but here we are. I am now about 30% of the way through Twisted Lies and let me tell you, I am loving it. At this point, like I, I think I've hit the point where I'm like ready to just like keep on going. You know when you hit that point, you know what point I'm talking about? That's like I reached that and I'm ready to just like keep powering through. So far, I still don't necessarily feel like the most connected with Stella yet. I think that will come. I really like the stalker storyline and I really, I loved her moment of like fear when she gets that note after her and Christian have that fight and she has a panic attack. I'm just always a sucker for a good panic attack in a book. I know that sounds weird, but I just like when they're like well written and well described. And I feel like Anna Huang did a great job of describing what it's like to have a panic attack. And then I love Christian coming upstairs and calming her down and coming to her rescue. Like, 
I'm such a sucker for that in a book. I did really like that moment. I also liked that we finally got some with Stella's family because I was like, I we're just told so far a lot about Stella's family and like what it means to be an Alonzo, but we have like no clue what that actually means. So I like that we saw her parents and her sister to kind of like get their vibe. I really think this so far would have benefited from a family dinner at the beginning of the story. Like this one now is fine. But I do really think if we would have had one earlier on, like the whole dynamic of Stella feeling like unworthy of her family and everything. And like during the panic attack, when she's like, oh, I'm going to be as a disappointment, it would have made more sense if the family dinner happened before that moment. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So I wish we'd have had a family dinner earlier on. Glad that we got that. And like, we at least have the one now to go off of. Y'all know what chapter I'm about to talk about right now? I loved Alex's and Christian's chapter when they went and played chess together at the club. My two icy billionaire men. I think Christian is gonna end up being my second favorite guy of the series. I did love Josh so much, but Alex still remains my favorite. And I think Christian is probably gonna be number two. I think he's probably gonna steal that spot from Josh. Um, I'm really vibing with Christian so far and I cannot wait to see him go absolutely feral. Feral, when he gets his hands on Stella's stalker or just anyone who tries to touch her. I also love Cage. I think he's like a big teddy bear. Love him. I hope he doesn't die. I was thinking about that. I was like, what if he dies in an attack or something from Stella's stalker? I like all the stuff with Christian's company. You can just tell that Anna Huang knows what she's talking about and that she's done research with their jobs and such. And I think a lot of Stella's stuff with being an influencer online, that could have felt like, I don't even know how to describe it. It could have just felt off. You know, but so far it hasn't. I actually really like that that's her job and that we're getting some of the inner workings of it and talking about like numbers and followers and such because obviously I'm making this vlog because I have like a platform online, you know? Nowhere near the like 900,000 that Stella has. But still, like, if you have an online platform all the same. And I think some of the accuracy talking about like, people who say that they don't care about numbers are lying because I wanted to hit 5,000 and that was like a goal for me. Now that I've hit that, I'm kind of like, okay, cool. But I would be lying if I said that like, oh, I wouldn't care if like I lost all my followers or like stopped growing completely, you know, like that would be a lie. You know, everyone who has an online platform ultimately wants to continue to grow it and no one wants to just be stagnant. So like, I do, I do like that. Like that was cool. And I, I just, I like Stella's job. I think it's interesting. Um, and also I love the fake dating relationship. Also, did Alex always have green eyes? <laughs> I snapchatted Nikki and I was like, cause I was, as soon as uh, Christian walked into that club and there was like the giant V on the floor, I was like, V is in Volco baby. And then I was like, oh no, it's a like club. And then when the man was described as having like cold green eyes and I was like, oh, that's not Alex, but it was Alex. And then I'm like, Nikki, did he always have green eyes? <laughs> and she was like, I thought he had green eyes. And I think in my head, I just substituted them. I think I was like, no, you have blue eyes now. <laughs> I don't know why I was dead ass convinced that Alex had blue eyes and I don't know if it's because like I pictured him that way or I think like the cover of the book like because I have all the men covers I mean I do have the discreet ones down too but I started out with the men covers and like I picture that model as Alex and like that guy has like wolf like blue eyes on the cover I think because like twisted love you know is like a blue color scheme I had just kind of like decided that he had blue eyes okay I need to be kind of quiet for this because both of the kitties and Nala finally all rested because they can't all rest when the others are like up and moving around. I'm now 52% in and Josh and Jules just had their little housewarming party and I just loved seeing the whole group together. I think that's what's so special about the later books in a series like this is that you get to see all of the couples that you already know and love from previous books all together and interacting. Like, I love seeing all the girls interacting, but I think especially the guys, mostly Alex, I love having him around and seeing him. Um, I do like Reese too, so seeing him, but I love Josh. Love having Josh back in the mix and I just like seeing them all interact with Christian because he is kind of like the newbie to the group even though he does have certain ties here and there with people so that's just interesting I think it's fun it makes me feel like nostalgic seeing all the group together Stella moved in with Christian now this is my thing there has to be some sort of lie okay there's got to be some deal here that Christian's not telling Stella there's just got to be something 
And I'm really hoping that it doesn't come out later that, like, he knows who her stalker is. I think he's going to do something with his stalker, with her stalker. But I'm hoping that it doesn't have something to do with, like, that he's going to find out and, like, take care of him, but then not tell Stella because he doesn't want Stella to not live with him anymore. You know, I really don't want, I really hope that doesn't happen. Oh, and also, small little thing, but then when Christian was at that random party at the club and that one dude got pissed him for talking to his date when the date like hit on Christian and he was like no thank you and then the guy came up and tried to be all like Harper shouldn't you be at home with your girlfriend so he went out and he like blew up this dude's car well he didn't blow it up then in there he put a little device on it that blew it up then when the guy got home <laughs> I love unhinged men I do Christian was just like I suggest you don't finish that sentence to Stella's dad and he was like are you threatening me and he's like suggest it stop it I and then when her dad was like you're like a snake in the grass I was like I I love that that's my favorite kind of man oh my god I just I loved Christian and that's I also love Stella in that scene stand up for yourself and her dumb sister who then when her dad is about to kick Stella out then her sister is like oh daddy no you you brought this on you brought this on because you decided to out your sister at family dinner because you're a bitch no don't try to back check now. It's so fucking hot out. She would walk four times a day if you'd let her. And she keeps on eating grass. And then you know what? She throws it all up. And then you know who has to clean that up? Me. But she doesn't care. She's having a grand old time. I am 72% into Twisted Lies. Stop eating the grass. 72% into Twisted Lies. I'm very excited. I'm probably going to finish it tonight. I'm loving it. Loving Christian. Loving Stella. Loving them together. And I especially loved when the dude at the party, y'all know what scene I'm talking about, when he gropes Stella, Kristen calls him in for a meeting, dude thinks he's trying to discuss his business, psych, gonna chop your hand open, pour like $20,000 whiskey on it, and then it ended up shooting you because you made him late for dinner, his taco Tuesday night with his girlfriend, and he had to speed across town to get the salsa that she likes just for her. That's domestic bliss right there. That's the new standard for men, if you ask me. Okay, maybe this is just me, but I think that Stella is, like, overreacting to Christian having a file on her. I don't know. I don't find that that crazy. I mean, one, he's literally trying to find your stalker, so he has to, like, go through everyone that you know. And, yeah, he didn't tell you that, like, he had that on you or that he had it on the people that you know, but I feel like if I have a stalker and my boyfriend owns a security company... I would, and like he's telling me that he's gonna figure it out. I would assume that he's going to go through every single person in my life in detail. Also, the fact that he runs a security company like that, that doesn't surprise me that he would have a folder on me or that he looked into me before getting involved with me. One, when that's like his everyday job. And two, the fact that he's like, he created this fake dating arrangement with you. Like, I would also wanna know. That, like, the person that I was getting involved with when you're at that, like, status uh, doesn't have any snakes in their closet. I don't know. I genuinely don't find this that weird. So the fact that she's like, I don't feel safe with him. And, like, I need to go be with Ava. I was like, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed. I'm like, it's literally, I don't know. I don't think that it's that big of a deal. And, like, you know him, you know? That annoyed me. This is annoying me. I just finished that chapter when she, like, called Ava to go over to him. To go over to her place. And whatever. Again, the angle's really off, but I'm trying to eat my breakfast while at the same time wrap up this video here. I finished Twisted Lies last night. So final thoughts. I thought the stalker reveal was kind of like whatever. You know, I was like glad to figure it out, but I didn't necessarily think that it was like, oh, I knew it. I don't know. It was fine. Um, Like obviously the reveal was done well and everything. Like I'm not critiquing that. I just think like the overall like shock value of it, it was kind of like, Oh, okay. But what I did love about the stalker reveal was seeing Christian torture the dude. Mm. Mm. It reminded me so much of like mafia books. And y'all know how much I love that icy cold rage. So seeing Christian peel that man apart, so satisfying. And then seeing Stella text him and be like, come home to me. And he listened. That was great. Now, what I didn't like about the ending, I hate third act breakups. And I especially did not like this one. This one just annoyed me because I think I, it was like, 
Me, I'm looking at this and I'm like, Stella, you're like way blowing shit out of proportion. That's how I personally felt. I totally understand that like, yes, she felt that her privacy was invaded. And after having a stalker and everything, that that's something that is like important to her. But at the same time, I was rationalizing it as like, you know, Christian is trying to find your stalker and granted he had this file on her from years ago but he's never once like brought it up in like a creepy way or like used it against you and like yes he could have told you but at the same time I just don't think it warranted like a breakup breakup I think it warranted a fight I don't think it warranted a breakup that kind of annoyed me it almost just felt like it was in there just to like give them something to break them up the stuff with Cage was interesting uh it felt like a bad cop movie but you know whatever I did love how the book wrapped up I just loved getting to see Ava and Alex they were like my OGs I was just so happy to see them have a wedding I loved seeing everyone actually in the epilogue I didn't mind that you know like people have babies and people were getting married I actually thought that was kind of cute and I didn't mind having like what felt like in a longer epilogue because it's the end of a series and we spend so much time with these characters and I like getting to know that you know like they're all off doing okay with like one-off epilogues I don't need to see a standalone couple being happy in love getting married and having babies I don't need that but in a series when I've like spent so much time with a friend group I want that so as a whole I love the book I give it five stars I've given all the books five stars in this series so as I'm like sitting here on rankings it's hard for me to like rank them because like I said I've literally given them all five stars I've enjoyed every single book every single main character every Every single couple but I think at least for right now my final ranking of the books Twisted Hate is still my favorite book that book is phenomenal through and through I think maybe Twisted Love or Twisted Games I don't know I really love the plot of Twisted Games those two are kind of going back and forth and then I would put Twisted Lies at the end I did love it I loved Christian and Stella as a couple I loved the slow burn I just think in terms of the whole series, someone's gotta be last, and I think I would put them at, towards the bottom. Favorite guy, Alex, Christian, Josh, Reese. That's pretty easy. I Christian really climbed up there for me. I just, as much as I love Josh, I love like that icy billionaire kind of man and just like Christian kind of fit the bill I mean obviously like Christian and Alex are my top two I think you kind of know my type for the women mm, no I don't know if I want to rank the women you know what no women have enough problems I'm not ranking them only ranking the men and I will rank the couples my favorite couple is Ava and Alex and then probably Josh and Jules and then Stella and Christian and then Reese and Bridget I love Reese and Bridget together I just think like overall they're not like I I don't have like that like internal and tangible feeling towards them that I do towards the other couples and with Christian and Stella it could be recency bias but that's what I'm gonna leave it as I cannot wait to watch Nikki's video to hear all of her thoughts obviously we've been snapping back and forth but I'm just very excited to hear like her full thoughts about it and see I think at one point she was hovering like around a four star like she thought it was gonna be more of a four star rating so I'm interested to see if she bumped that up or not like if the ending blew her away enough to like bump her up to that fifth star I love this series I'm very excited for Dante and Vivian's story and her new series Anna Huang is like an auto by author for me now after this series because I loved the hell out of every single book and I cannot wait to continue yeah that's it for today and I will have my mid-year book freak out tag up on Thursday and I will see you when I see it